was good. Man, just thinking back to when I actually graduated back in 2007, I just remember the rehearsals, the clapping, the congratulations, your parents there, your friends, the excitement, just knowing that it's over and you're about to be an adult. But if I had a 750 credit score, I know things would have been different. I probably would have saved a lot of more, I would have saved a lot of money because I wouldn't have to put down so many deposits. I would have done things a little bit different. Plus with the information I have now to learn, to basically use it to properly leverage to get assets, things would have been a lot different. And what I wanna do for you is actually show you how you can help your child get a 750 credit score. So when it's time for them to graduate, they will have that 750 credit score. And this is the reason why I'm making these videos so you can properly teach your child how to leverage their credit and get to where they ultimately wanna be. So you already know what time it is. Let's get right into it. Welcome back. So there are three things you can do right now to basically help your child get the 750 credit score. First things first, right? What you want to do is build a relationship with the bank. Go to the bank, take your child like I did with my child, like my partner did to, with his child and took him to the actual bank, start creating that relationship. Let the child know, let the child experience how it feels to actually go to the bank, open up a savings account. And here are some of the banks you can actually um, build a relationship with right now. Bank of America, American Express, um, Capital One, uh, Navy Federal, um, Chase. These are the banks you can actually start taking your child. I'm pretty sure there are other, many other banks you can go or you can that you have right now that you can go to. But you want to do is open up a savings account and go to the actual bank and start building a relationship with, with your child. Because once they see that you're going to the bank and you're taking them to the bank, now they're gonna start asking the questions, daddy, mommy, why are you going to the bank all the time? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Why are you saving your money and stuff like that? And now you be able to educate them. You need to save your money, you need to do this. You can break it down and give them the mindset that they need. So when they get older, they realize I can go to the bank, I can do this. This is how the banks actually work. So take your child to the bank, build that relationship, let them learn about the banks, the bank products and stuff like that. So they can have the mindset, they'll know what they're actually doing and not waiting years later to try to figure it out. So go build a relationship with the banks, take your child to the bank, and actually do the things that they need to do early so they can learn and not make the mistakes that we did as grown up. Now that you build the relationships with the banks, the second thing what you wanna do is open up credit cards. And by you open up the credit cards, you're adding your child as an authorized user. No, you're not gonna give them the credit card, but what you're gonna do is you're building up history. So by the time they're 18, they'll have five years, 10 years, 15 years, depending on how old they are right now, what you're doing is you're creating the history, you're creating the years. So by the time they're 18, they're light years ahead and not light years behind when it comes to credit. Now they'll have good credit history. So when it's their time to actually apply for a credit card or get a house or get a car, they'll have all this history that you help them build because now that you know the information, you're helping your child and you're teaching them and you're giving them the, the correct knowledge, the correct um, discipline to show them how to properly use a credit card and how to do the things they need to do to be um, a grown up and not waiting years later. Now, I'm not mess basically, they're messing up and doing things and failing and failing and not knowing how to properly use credit because they wasn't taught. But now you have the information and now you're adding your child as an authorized user and you're giving them the information, you're giving them the education, you're showing them the five factors, you're giving them everything they need to basically succeed in life when it comes to credit because the education system is not really teaching them. So you're teaching them how to build credit. You're teaching them how to leverage credit. You're teaching them everything they need to know about credit. So once they get to where they ultimately want to be and they have the proper tools, now you're happy. Now you're now they're thanking you and now they can do the same thing for their child and they, the generation goes on and on and on and you're teaching them to basically be a um, man or a, child, uh, a woman and how to properly use credit. So this is how we teach our kids how to use credit, build that relationship, add them as authorized users, show them how to use credit, show them what to do, show them what not to do when it comes to credit and not spend money on foolishness that they really don't need right at this moment and show them how to properly use credit. Now that you're building a relationship with the banks, you open up a credit card. Now what you want to do with this credit card is use it on minor things. You're not going to use this credit card on emergencies and things like that. This credit is strictly, this credit card is strictly for your child. And what you want to use this credit card is for gas, um, Netflix, little certain things. And you're teaching your child at the same time what to use a credit card for because 
So what you're what they're doing is learning from you and if they learn that they're going to use this credit card to go shopping and do certain things they're going to do the same thing they're going to pick up the same habits so what you want to do is teach them how to use this credit card use it for little things and things here and what you're going to do is by the time they're mature enough then you can probably teach them how to use a credit card how to pay it back and do certain things what an open date is what a statement balance is and show them how to actually use the credit card the correct way and properly leverage for certain things if they want to start a business and stuff like that you can teach them this is what my training is for my videos for so now you can teach them how to properly leverage their credit and how to properly use their credit to do certain things like how to get a house how to get a car how to do all this type of things that we weren't taught in school this is how you can properly give your child an actual credit, a 750 credit score. So now they're not light years um, behind, they're light years ahead, and they have the tools and necessary what they need to basically do to get ahead in life and not be behind and not be messing up and having bankruptcies and stuff like that, crying and, and depressed when it comes to the credit. You're teaching them, you're showing them, you're giving them steps, you're giving them everything they need to know as a parent when it comes to credit and not being afraid of credit and not saying cash, 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 cash. Yes, cash is good, but have just knowing the power of credit, what it can actually do, and not be basically spending years and years and years trying to save up to do certain things, but knowing what they can know now about credit and they can what things they can do. Now that you got this information, go open up that bank account, go do what you gotta do, do everything I told you to do in this video. And if you need help with your credit, Go ahead, watch this video, and I'm going to show you how to basically get things removed off your credit so you can go ahead and start um, getting credit cards.